What's up folks, it's me Tiffany and I'm here doing a quick, maybe quick, <laughs> hair tutorial okay so I'm apologizing right now for having my glasses on because I know it's giving like a reflective thing but I need to see what's going on because apparently I'm getting old and my vision is like off <laughs> but today I'm gonna do a somewhat quick tutorial about um not about but on how I did my like side braid thing side braid ponytail okay with the molly here so hopefully this goes well <laughs> so as you kind of saw in some of the videos before the last couple of videos and also um my um if you follow me on instagram rather then you see that i had some pictures with the big ponytail on the side the side braid thing as a friend said to me today <laughs> when he called me basically it's a really somewhat easy um thing to do and me i am not a big like weave and you know hair kind of person I'm really really simple this is actually the first time that even even uh, experimenting with all these things because I had all this small hair left over from when I did the twist so I didn't want to waste all that hair and so that's why I decided to do something with it but I really like keeping the side braid in and the the, the bun because it's like a great protective style because I don't have to touch my hair for like a week if I really don't want to okay so let's get right into it the things that you're gonna need now you're gonna need a brush probably you know some sort of bore head not bare bore head but bores hair brush or something that can slick your hair down pretty good you're gonna need a comb or some sort of comb I'm trying to look for a better comb but apparently I have no better comb but this will do because I just needed to you know make the the part basically then you're gonna need either small like thin kind of um, elastics okay or if you're in a pinch because that's what I was doing before you can take a um, like a, you know pantyhose that's what I did <laughs> and then you cut off a good size piece from there like maybe to like right there and use that as like a um, you're gonna use it as ah, as an elect elastic the whole point is you want it to be very very small as far as the profile once you're gonna put it in and I'm gonna show you how to do that next you're gonna need some sort of um, gel or so for your hair to slick it down now I had used eco Styler gel for it but you know it's good but a friend of mine put me on to the other eco Styler gel which you know may or may not be you know good for everybody be somewhat controversial it works well for my hair especially because I was in need of something with a bit more hold this one I have is the eco styler here that I have is the one with argan oil I wasn't I'm not really picky with it um, my hair you know it's not it likes all of them so it really doesn't matter but as I was saying if you really need some good hold because like my baby hers okay my baby hairs they be popping up all the time so a friend of mine let me know about this other type of eco styler and as this one the one in the black one it's the eco styler styling gel with the super protein you know some people may not want the protein you can just go ahead and just use one of these i've been using this for the sides especially because it really helps to hold it down so that's what i'm going to use next you're going to need a bigger elastic like one of these the goodie one the ouchless one so you're going to need one of these and you're going to need like i said one of the smaller ones or the pantyhose you're also going to need bobby pins okay these are just regular bob bobby pins that i have here the regular size one you could also i guess use the open one if you wanted to you know either one is fine lastly i think lastly you're gonna need a pack of the marley hair this one i have here is the vivica fox one i was kind of shocked that i even came across this the other day when i was um downtown brooklyn i think i was and i purchased this one it was 5.49 a pack i bought a couple of packs because i may try to do the the twists or the braids again just to um once it gets really really hot but I'm gonna use one of them now, and which means I'm gonna have to go and buy another one <laughs> to do the braid for my hair now. Now when you take the molly hair out, it does look kind of like, you know, somewhat dreaded, you know, <laughs> because it's supposed to look like that. This here, this color I got here is two, but I bought this one recently, the Vivica Fox one, because it was just softer. 
in texture or you know in feel rather than the other ones which I think was either the Janet hair or something that one was they were just very very rough now as I was saying as far as when you open up the package it's gonna come like this it's kind of scary looking but you're not gonna need all of this for this braid not at all so what you're gonna want to do is try to take this rubber band because a rubber band comes in the middle part you want to try to take that out okay if you wanted to have a big big dookie braid like this then by all means keep it on there but I don't want mine that big so I'm gonna try and take this out because I want to separate the sections okay so I've taken the rubber band out I actually kind of cut it out I did cut it out <laughs> what you're left with is like this I'm going to take a couple of this couple of these couple of these almost like half of it and just split it in half and decide how kind of big you want it because when you have it now you're going to like recreate the whole folded over part you know the doubled over rubber band part you're going to recreate that basically but with the smaller section so this would be like the braid right here as you see it and if you wanted it more then use more sections of hair and if you want it less use less because keep in mind when you go and you braid it you may braid it looser or you can braid it tighter so as far as sections here I have one two uh, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I have about eleven here they don't have to be super even but you get the point like it's kind of all the same somewhat same length now take one of these skinny elastics take one of them doesn't matter really what color you use because you're not gonna see it now these next couple of sections are gonna get a little tricky and I may not even be the uh, neatest when I'm doing it but you have to play with it and you will get the, the point because once I finish it then it looks better so you're gonna take that small elastic and you basically are gonna loop the hair you know through it because you're trying to make that equal uh, the middle part again put the put the elastic in the middle part of the hair like this and then you're just gonna you know double it over and pull it through again pull the hair through again then double it over so I've done it three times so far this is the third time pull it through again because you're just making putting this elastic part right in the middle of the hair again like the rubber band that, that um, it originally came with in the package okay so as you see here I've done that and it's these sections are still kind of even not really but that's good enough so now that you got this ponytail part ready now you're able to now move on to your hair which is the fun part I guess <laughs> so I have my hat on but that's because I had put twists in my hair the other night when I just co-washed it and I didn't feel like doing my hair so I put twists in my hair and then I just put a scarf on it and then now I have it just in twists and you know whatever so now I'm gonna take the twist out just so that I can get my hair um, ready now the reason why I put my hair in twists is because I wanted to stretch it a little bit instead of letting it just shrink up because if I let this shrink up then it, it has its own problems so it's best to do it from stretched hair you know it doesn't have to be heat stretched hair it can just be as I said like you know old not really old but twist out from the day before or something like that and then you can just go from there so from here you're gonna put the part in and you're gonna start to slick your hair back in preparation for putting it into the um, the ponytail I kind of like the side part but you can do it from the middle you can do whatever that you want to you know whichever side rather that you want to do or put one straight in the middle it really doesn't matter so now it's going to take a little bit of maneuvering you're going to take a water bottle which just watch your hair to get it prepped then you can start slicking down your hair now you may want to start to slick the front like for me the front part of my hair is really really annoying because it's shorter so I start to put the the eco styler down when I'm putting when I'm brushing it just to start to tame it a bit 
and just starts to sleek it sleek it yeah make it slicker <laughs> but you're not actually pulling all your hair back just yet I'm just kind of like you know getting my hair in the mood for it okay so now that you started to tame your hair a bit I'm gonna gonna try and turn around and show you what the rest of <laughs> the whole thing is gonna be okay, now I must say that I did have um, I did moisturize my hair prior to this I did have some olive oil and rosemary oil in my hair and that's why I didn't put any sort of oils or, or butters in this whole you know process so far so if your hair does need some moisturizing you may just want to put it in during this slicking down part because it'll just be there and you're able to just kind of do it now once before it gets into the ponytail. 